Previously on 7 in 7, the boys learned about Obergogel's fascinating past and kicked back with some quality R&R at the Langenfeld Aquadome. And relax. Once we checked into our hotel, half asleep we ventured onto the ancient streets of Innsbruck. Too tired to agree on where to eat, we settled on one of the city's oldest beer halls. Naturally. next morning to a very hazy sky, but our hotel was just a five minute walk from the Congress, where the Innsbrucker Norketa Barnen departed from. In 20 minutes we ascended 1700 metres by cable railway and cable car. The views from the top were jaw dropping. As we stand Unbeknown to us, there were no peace from the top. Just steep, scary cool ones. Not your average first run of the day. There were ways we could learn to let go. But didn't you know? All this love was for you. But didn't you know? Everywhere we looked, we were gifted with epic views. But unless you're a strong freeride skier or boarder, or you enjoy shredding the park, then Norketa doesn't offer the average skier too much. But it's worth a 20 minute ride up the mountain just for the epic views. This is the last song that leaves my mouth for you. This is the last song that leaves my body for you. One place that we were all keen to visit in Innsbruck was the Burton flagship store, which is the only flagship store in Europe. This shop, which is adjacent to Burton's European headquarters, is an Aladdin's cave of snowball gear. We were here to get the DL on the city from Burton's employees. What do you love about uh, Innsbruck? Well, it's pretty simple. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Apart from the obvious, other things yeah. to do in Innsbruck? No, definitely you have... It's, it's a, mountain city so you just do everything outdoor you spend time with your friends outside you enjoy yeah I don't know mountains hiking splitboarding snowboarding then going for hikes in summer biking it's so much stuff to do here it's yeah never gets boring it. never gets boring and you're pretty exhausted after all your like activities but yeah culture of course. And you work at a great uh, great place to get your ski equipment, or snowboard equipment, keep it on for Yeah, cover. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll just, we'll just dub that over with snowboard, it's fine. It's a cool city to live because if you like sports and if you like outdoors, it's the perfect place. Yeah. Leaving from town, you can be in the mountain in quarter an hour. Yeah, 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 perfect. And then you can go down to see George Clooney in Lake uh, Como, right? Oh no, it's Garda. Uh, no, Garda. Lake Garda is near, yeah. but there's no Clooney there. Yeah, exactly. No point in going, right? <laughs> There's some espresso though. So. It's good espresso. As soon as you cross the border, you can go to the first gas station and it's already good espresso. Amazing. No, the, the, like, the location is perfect between Germany, Switzerland, Italy. 
We reach everything in a second. Brilliant. I, I think I want to live here now. You're selling it. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Can I get a job here? That's why flats are so Ma expensive. Can I, I could be a male model, right? That, you, that, you said that too quickly. There was no thought in that. <laughs> You know, Innsbruck, it's, uh, it's a student city, so that means that there's approximately 40,000 students in town and it's uh, a lot of uh, night scene, like there's a lot of stuff happening. That, that, that's why a lot of people call Innsbruck, Innsbruckling, because it's, 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 <laughs> there's things happening, there's concerts, there's music, there's a lot of clubs, uh, there's a lot of young uh, people around, which make it a lot of fun. I mean, it's, it's, every time I have friends coming over from Italy or France, they're like, dude, you're so lucky to be here. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, I know, but you know, someone has to be. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's difficult, but yeah, you know. yeah, 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 you know. On with some newfound local knowledge on what to see and do in Innsbruck, we drove 20 minutes out of the city to the Olympic Sliding Centre at Iggles. Crabs, are you still a little bit nervous about this, mate? A little bit, but uh, to be honest, I feel a bit better because I've got, got my helmet with me. <laughs> It's going to be uh, fully protected. None of this beanie, Mark. <laughs> well, I've, got, I've got some gloves, so I'm fine. <laughs> Innsbruck has hosted the Winter Olympics twice, and in 2012, the Youth Winter Olympics, with Eagles hosting the bobsleigh and luge events for all three. Tourists can now visit the track twice a week for a terrifying bobsleigh ride that costs around 30 euros. We'd come to Eagles to see what all the fuss was about. How are you feeling, Liz? I'm all right. I'm all right. A lot happier that there's other people here. I'm a bit worried. It's going to be an extremely dangerous thing. There's actually no one coming down. There. Yeah, it's just people watching, ready for people to fall off. Of. Yeah, they've been told that we're coming along. They're like, oh yeah, let's take, bring the cameras up. Yeah, exactly. Let's watch them absolutely stack it on a corner. And uh, just behind there is all the medication, medical stuff you might need. Fib. And the Coaching doping the control there. So <laughs> better get in, checked in there. To get checked. Yeah, okay. they know what you, you, you're on the raw. He's definitely knows that. <laughs> and if you t if you whisper in his ear, go faster, would he? Yeah, it's about uh, 100 kilometers per hour. Okay, that's fast enough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that'll do so for I me. Think <laughs> yeah, I think I'll probably be going slower. Yeah, <laughs> slower. This is fine. Yeah. We're just in the back of a lorry, we're being rustled to the top. Hopefully, <laughs> not some far far land. Reassuringly, our driver looked like a cross between the Stig and Evil Knievel. I bought me my lucky egg. While Rob got to work feeling the rhythm, Phil nervously questioned the staff about mortality rates and G-forces. Meanwhile, I was searching far and wide for some tape to attach the GoPro stick to my helmet. With seconds to spare, I boarded the bobsled and foraged around for something other than the driver to hold on to. If roller coasters aren't your thing, then Eagles might prove to be your worst nightmare. Looking back at the footage, I'm amazed how close our heads came to brushing the ice on numerous occasions, and the mongoose-like reactions of our driver. Amazingly, the GoPro made it all the way down the track attached to my helmet, which was good news, as you see very little tucked behind the driver. Is your egg still there? With Rob's egg still safe in his pocket, we drove back down to Innsbruck to enjoy a slap up meal at Innsbruck's finest steak restaurant, Woodfire. This was one of the most delicious and tender steaks I've tasted outside of Argentina and was accompanied with a nice glass of Austrian red. Turns out the Austrians know how to make good wine. Who knew?
Next episode, we visit Axel Melitsen. 